Hello, welcome, and thanks for joining us live on Progen Media TV wherever you are. And while tuning in from, we are very grateful, but kindly consider subscribing and turning on the notification button for more of these updates. His Excellency Bobby Wine reacts on torture made on suspects of General Wamala's assassination, and he questions the people behind the torture, asking them what kind of foolishness is this. So therefore, His Excellency Bobby Wine is not happy about the torture made to the suspects of General Wamala assassination. Uh, once again, thanks for joining us live on Progen Media TV, but let's take a quick look into some of these details. Bobby Wine said while sharing torture images from Nakawa Chief Magistrate's Court that these are images of Ugandans who were arrested by security forces two weeks ago and detained in unknown locations. He went on to say that they were accused of being behind the attack on General Katumba Amala a few weeks ago. Some of these individuals were allegedly killed during investigations by the security personnel and they were brought before a magistrate in Nakawa after lawyers attempted to have them produced in court. That's how they looked, they described how they were tortured in court, and their tormentors insisted that they confess to attacking General Katumba. And what kind of foolishness is this, as Bobby Wine says. The head of National Unit Platform, who is presently in a trip to the United States, said that Uganda's constitution, as well as other international treaties to which Uganda is a party, prohibit torture in all forms. He added that torture is a criminal act that is used to elicit information from detainees, and Museven and his blood dictatorship have specialized in torturing civilians with immunity. I mean with impunity, with things becoming worse by the day. What's more unfortunate, according to Bobby Wine, is that many countries around the world continue to do business with such a brutal regime and give them money, the majority of which they steal and use to buy equipment to torture and kill our people. Bobby Wine stated that it is, very, it is every Ugandan's responsibility to say enough. Unfortunately, many people have a tendency to believe they are safe, they are safe until they, they or a loved one is subjected to these heinous ordeals. He stated that Ugandans must also continue to urge the nations and organizations that continue to support the illegitimate administration in Kampala in case uh, to seize their support. And therefore, he also adds that stop supporting our prosecution. We have told them and we will keep telling them, he concluded. Therefore, Bobby Wine is not happy about the torture that is going on. And according to him, in Uganda's law, torture is not allowed. Torture is abolished. Torture is where someone is being beaten, harassed brutally to get information out of them. Therefore, these people were tortured. And according to the police, they agreed that they were behind the Katumba Mala shooting. That's why they were tortured and some ended up being killed. Uh, well, that is it for now. Thanks for watching Progen Media TV. We'll keep on updating with more of this. Kindly do one thing, subscribe and turn the notification button. All these updates will come to you in time.